Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'll show you how to make a super easy and delicious al pastor chicken in the slow cooker. So easy and full of flavor. I hope you like it. Remember you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Cut the dry chilies in half and place them in a bowl. To this also add in about 2 cups of hot water and let the dry chilies soak in the water for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, now in a blender, we're going to place the crushed pineapple. Also adding one orange, peeled and cut in half. Also adding one onion, cut in quarters. And we will also add in three garlic cloves, the chipotle peppers, together with the guajillo and the puya peppers. The dry peppers should be very soft by now. They have been in the water for at least 10 minutes. So they should be very soft. Into the blender we will also add in about one cup of the water in which we soak the peppers. Now season this with salt to taste. Also add in a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of dry oregano. Add two tablespoons of white vinegar and another half a cup of water. Now blend this on high for about two or three minutes or until you get a soft sauce. Then taste the flavor. Add more salt and pepper if needed. Or you can also add more oregano if you want to. And once you're happy with the flavor, now we're going to marinate the chicken with this sauce. So place the chicken in a large container and we're going to pour the sauce over the chicken. And for this recipe, I'm using a whole chicken cut in pieces. I remove the skin from the chicken. But feel free to use whatever kind of chicken that you prefer. It can be boneless and skinless or it can have the bone in and the skin on. Feel free to use whatever part of the chicken that you prefer. You could use all chicken breasts or chicken thighs or legs. Whatever you decide is fine. So we're going to marinate the chicken for at least four hours. I recommend that you prepare it overnight so you can marinate it all night. It will be more flavorful. So like I said, I'm going to cook this in the slow cooker. I'm going to cook it on low for about five hours. But feel free to bake it or grill it or broil it if you want to. Just remember the cooking time will depend on the size of the chicken pieces and also the boneless pieces will cook much faster. And this is how it looks after 5 hours, it's almost done. Now I'm going to set the heat to high and then I'll remove the chicken pieces from the sauce. The chicken is almost cooked, I'm just going to shred it and I'm going to remove the bone from the chicken. And once I'm done, I'm going to sprinkle the shredded chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'll place it back in the sauce and I'll continue to cook it on high for about 2 more hours. After 2 hours, this is how it looks. It's so tender and delicious. Now I'm going to remove it from the sauce again. And that's about it, now you can serve it. I'm going to shred it a little bit more because I'm going to serve it on tostadas. But remember, this chicken will make great tacos, flautas, sandwiches, or whatever you want to do with it, it will be great. It's so delicious, I really recommend it. I'm going to garnish my tostadas with a little bit of red cabbage, chopped cilantro, and chopped onion. And to go along with my tostadas, I also made a super spicy dry chili sauce. I will show you how to make that on my next video. Stay tuned, enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!